Hello scholars, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing good. So scholars, today we are going to start with a new chapter. Chapter number 8 and the name of the chapter is Measurement. So let's begin with the chapter now. So scholars, I would like all of you to open page number 127 of your maths book. In this chapter, we will learn about how to measure different things. So, let's start with the first exercise that is given here. Looking back. See the first question given here. These are my handprints at different ages. Circle the biggest one and tick the smallest one. Bigger and smaller. We have already started in the previous chapter. So what we have to do in this question is, we have to circle the biggest one and then tick the smallest one. So, red one is the biggest one. So we will circle it and the smallest one, we have to put a tick. So this one is the smallest one. Okay, see the next question. These are my favorite toys. Circle the heaviest one. And tick the lightest one. These are toys. We have to circle the heaviest one among these and put the a tick on the lightest one. So this one is the heaviest one. So we will circle it and ball is lighter in weight. So we will put a tick here. Okay. Now let's see the third one. I drink these every day. Circle the one that holds the most and tick the one that holds the least. Most means in which glass holds the most means has the quantity more. And least means in which glass there is less quantity. Okay, so this one holds the most and we have to put a tick on the one that holds the least. This one is the glass. This glass holds the least. Okay. Among all. Okay. So I would like you all to try this one as homework. Okay. Moving on to the next page. Page number. 129. Can you see the strip given here? Cut out the strip of paper clips at the top of this page. Use it to measure the length of each. Okay. Using the paper strip, we have to measure these objects that are given here. So let's start with the first one. It is an eraser. So it's about how many clips? This eraser is about two paper clips. So we will write here two. Okay. In the same way, now we have to measure the next picture that is the sharpener. So this sharpener is about one paper clip. So we can write here one. Now See the third one. It's a spoon. We have to measure the spoon now. So, if we measure the spoon, it's about, it's about five clips. So, we will write here five. In this way, we have to measure these objects using the paper clips strip that is given here. Now, let's see the thermometer. How much it is? It's about four paper clips. So we can write here four. Okay. Now I would like you all to try this last one, this one, as homework. Okay. Now let's see the next topic that is given here comparing length. Jesse and Paul were comparing the length of their pencil. 
can you see the tick that is given here this this tick shows the correct way to compare the length so according to this whose pencil is longer yes jc's pencil is longer so we will write her name here j e double s y j c you have to write the name of the person whose pencil is longer okay moving on to the next page page number 130 how tall these are some of the things that are in my school bag find their height by counting the erasers beside each objects each object erasers some erasers are kept we have to find these uh, find the height of these object by counting the erasers so let's start with the first one we'll start with the tiffin box this tiffin box is around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's about the cup is as tall as 6 eraser it's a cup the cup is as tall as 6 eraser and it's already done so we'll start with the second one now we have to now find out the height of the pencil by counting these erasers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 11 so the pencil is as tall as 11 erasers so we can write here 11 in the same way now we need to count the height of this juice carton okay so let's do that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the juice carton is as tall as 9 erasers so we need to write here 9 okay this is the way how we can find out the height by counting the erasers so i would like you all to try this one as homework okay moving on to the next question another way to measure length one way we have started just now the second way is this way how long is each spoon count the squares counting from the top to find out the length of the spoon so first one is already done what we have to do is we have to count the squares and we have to start from the top to find out how long is each spoon okay so let's do that 1 2 3 4 this spoon is about 4 square long so we will write here 4 let's see the next one 1 2 3 this spoon is about 3 squares long okay let's see the next one now 1 2 3 4 5 this spoon is about 5 squares long so this is the way how we measure the length by counting the square also so now in the same manner this one i would like you all to try this as homework you have to measure the length of these crayons by counting the squares and starting starting from the bottom now okay you have to start it from the bottom okay moving on to a next topic on page number 131 how heavy i play in the park every evening here i am with my friends on the seesaw the heavier side goes down just see the heavier side the heavier side will always go down and lighter side goes up the lighter one will always go up see in this picture carefully and both side have same weight so it will remain in between okay so now related to this let's do this exercise that is given here 
write H for heavier and L for lighter. One has been done for you. Okay. So we have to write the write H for heavier object and L for lighter. As I told you, heavier object will always go down. So this if we compare these two, this one is heavier because it's going down and this one is lighter. Okay. Let's see the next picture. Again, the heavier side will go down. Heavier side goes down. So, here, this one is heavier and this one is lighter in weight. See the last one now. Again, if we compare both, this one is heavier and this one is lighter because the heavier one always goes down. So, goes down and the lighter one remains up, goes up. Okay. So, this is the way how we can find out heavier and lighter objects. Topic that is, how much does it weigh? On page number 133. How heavy is each object? I carry to school. I carry a banana to school every day. The banana weighs about 3 clay balls. So, we have to find out in the same way, we have to find out the weight of the other objects. Let's see the next one. My water bottle weighs as about that's dash clay balls. It's about how much clay balls? For that, we have to count the clay balls. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's about 7 clay balls. So, we will write here 7. In the space given here. Okay. Let's see the next one now. Here we have to find the weight of our maths book. So, my maths book weight about dash clay balls. Count the clay balls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's about 5 clay balls. So, we will write it 5. In the same manner, see the next one. Comparing weight. A box of cornflakes. At home, weight with about dash clay balls. It's about how many clay balls? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's about 5 clay balls. We will write here 5. So, this is the way how we, we can find out how much does it weigh. Okay. Let's see the Next page. This is the last page of this chapter. Problem solving. I am helping my mother fill water in jugs. I find that one jug holds two mugs of water. Okay? This one jug holds about two mugs of water. So, using this, we have to color the mugs of water needed to fill these jugs. So now as told above one jug holds two mugs of water. That means two jugs will hold four mugs of water. So we need to color four mugs this way. You can color it your of your own choice. One two three Four. So, according to this, one jug holds two mug of water. So, two jugs will hold four mugs of water. Let's see the next one. Now, here are three jugs. If one jug holds two mugs of water, so three jugs will hold six mugs. So, let's color it. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6. You need to color it properly. So, 6 mugs. 3 jugs will hold 6 mugs of water. 
so now i would like you all to try this last one is homework okay so scholars here we come to the end of chapter number 8 the worksheet and assignment related to this chapter is given in the link in the description box until then stay home stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds thank you